The conversations that I've done in this video that I'm gonna show you is gonna heavily and clearly give you exactly how to have authentic and interesting conversation. Pay attention to exactly what I'm doing because I'm gonna teach you the secrets to how I do it. What? <laughs> I can help a man change his heart in the way he think. Uh-huh, and what, it, what kind of? <laughs> What kind of way? What kind of job is that? <laughs> uh, okay, except the psychologist, but... <laughs> I don't know. It's a... The title could be so many different things. Uh-huh. But I would just say I guide. I can guide somebody. Yes. From being in a place of chaos on the inside to being free. What I meant by taking the risk is related to something I can rebuild, develop myself. That's what I meant. Like? Uh, like, for example, the chances for... For example, mo mo model job, you know? Because if you don't take the risk or the chances, then you won't get far. And it's also like for everything else in life. It's not, it's not about modeling. Like for example, I took the risk just to travel abroad to study. Actually, I'm studying medicine. Mm -hmm. So I was the only one among my friends who, got, who just took the chance and came here and studied medicine. When I got here, I didn't know anyone. That was my very, very, very first time traveling abroad alone. Yeah. Never ever experienced the, the life or the world. So that was the huge, the biggest, biggest step I took in my life. But the reason why I did it is because I knew that that risk will give me a good future. As long as I gain something, I take it. But if that risk, if I realize that that risk hurting me or it will bring me some bad, then why should you take it? It's stupid. Can you just show me what's, what's your walk? Like, cause I think on women look yes. very different. So for like a few steps, just show me. Actually, I have posted on Facebook. Oh no, I'm right in front of you. I got one, <laughs> like, I can hold this for you if you want. So you can just really, just oh, really no, strut no, the no, strut. Here, I, I feel so, so like. You ready? All right, over here. <laughs> no, no. No, no, people, people won't know. No, no, me, no, no. me and you will just have like a little walk. I'll, I'll walk. <laughs> yep. Hello. Hi. You look wonderful. <laughs> when you're people watching, what do you look for? Actually, I'm not, I, I try not to judge. I'm just like, oh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, what she wears is nice. Mm. Oh, he looks nice. Oh, I don't know. What do you look at? No, it's so interesting how they, I could just sit here. <laughs> such a nice city. I like the temperature today. It was too cold the last for two, two nights. <laughs> no. Do you come from Melbourne? Are you? Does it sound like it? I don't know. I don't Maybe sound like I'm present here? from Melbourne. <laughs> well, you could still live here. No, I don't live here. No. Oh, I live in Budapest. Seriously? Some work here and then, of course, I love the city itself. So what's the good thing to do? What what can you do during the week, evenings, days? What's your favorite place to go? South Bank. It's my South favorite Bank. place. So what's so special about South Bank? The view. It's so magnetic to me. Oh, during the night. Oh. My favorite view of any place is at night. Oh yeah. Yeah, I. Those, yeah, just wide and magical. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I remember Budapest. We went to the castle at night and then looked down. In Tepesh, right? Huh? In Tepesh, because from Buda, from yeah. Buda is what a oh, castle. Yeah. When you look in Tepesh, yes. What's the castle called again? I don't know. You don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. It's but just. But yeah, it was beautiful from there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about that. I think 
think it was the most amazing view I had. I don't know, high up. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were gonna walk in that place there. No. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna feel weird if I run up behind her, like, excuse me, and she's gonna be like, what? <laughs> Dominica. Dominica. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. It's such a black name. I love it. <laughs> okay, it's Polish. <laughs> it's, it's a black name. No. Oh. Why? Because you think they won't like you? No, because they're just like, why wouldn't you just go to pharmacy school at like. Madison because it's like Madison. I'm like, okay, well, I already spent four years here. Mm -hmm. I either want to like, go back to Milwaukee or go to Chicago. But we'll see. Why so close though? I don't know. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I, I'm applying to Denver and Seattle, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I have a question. If somebody, if Denver and Seattle said yes, mm -hmm. and Chicago said yes, which one would you choose? Um, I think I would have to think between Seattle and Chicago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're actually not so scared, you're just kind of scared then? Yeah, I'm like moderately scared. <laughs> yeah, because you make the choice right in the middle. Yeah. yeah. So you have some bravery to you and another part mm -hmm. of you like security. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what you saw in the video is what I want to talk to you about now. Making conversation authentic and interesting. The way to make conversation authentic and interesting starts with you, not what you do. The silence part is gonna seem like it's a doing, of course, but all of this stems from you. The woman is not there to see how interesting you are. She's not there trying to figure out, okay, is this guy interesting? Is he gonna be like this? No, she's not. She's just experiencing what you're giving her. But if you're giving her something that is not authentic, which means real, and interesting, which means you, she can't really experience you. That's what the woman is more interested in. She's more interested in experiencing you more so than what you do. And that leads us straight into how to make conversation actually authentic and interesting. Let's break down authenticity in relation to conversation. When it comes to authenticity, I want you to understand this simple fact. How authentic you are will be in direct correlation to how silent you are. When a man is more silent when he's talking to someone than speaking, he's much more real. When you're speaking, it doesn't mean that you're not real, but I have to tell you this. When you're not speaking, you're much more real than when you are speaking. Because if you think about it, the speaking only conveys what's in the silence. It only allows the energy to move from what's within the silence. And the silence is you. When you're in front of a woman and you're constantly trying to speak, you have to understand that that's not you. She's not getting in that moment authenticity. Because you don't want to actually speak. You don't want to continuously talk but you feel yourself reacting so you continuously talk. That's why I tell you this, however much silence you're in will be in direct correlation to how authentic you're being with the woman. Silence gives you the chance to connect to yourself when you're in front of the woman. A conversation that does not have silence is not a real conversation. Let me tell you this one more time so you can remember this. A conversation that has no silence or little silence is a fake conversation. This is one of the things that Americans struggle with because you're a lot of the times used to talking to people and always having to say, always filling in the gaps, always making sure that silence is not there because silence is awkward. Awkward silence comes from America where it's like, oh, there's awkward silence. Only if America's new, I'm American as well, so I can't say anything about it. And now I'm in America, of course, but only if, so to speak, America's new, not just Americans, all men knew that 
the more silent they are, the more attractive they'll be, the more authentic they'll be, they would then, in turn, have silence be a different thing for them. When silence is weird to you, of course you're not gonna engage in silence. Of course you're gonna do all that you can to get away from silence. That's what you'll do. Because silence to you is, it's awkward, it's weird. You're gonna do whatever you can to get away from it. You have to change your relationship to silence if you want to be more authentic with the women. If you want conversation to be more real, you must be willing to have more moments of silence. The guy that's more silent around women is the guy that's the most attractive to the women. Silence is the polar opposite to her nature. Her nature is to express, is to talk, is to connect. The more a man is silent around a woman, the more he'll be attractive. That's because he's speaking when he needs to. That's because he's allowing himself to be all that he is. You are not only a guy that talks. That's one aspect of you. You're also a guy who doesn't talk. A guy who is in silence. A guy who doesn't have to do this, and that's like this. This is the balance to you. But if you're in front of women and all you're doing is speaking, you're not adding that variation of authenticity, the variation of silence so something else can arise. You're not allowing that to happen. And the other part is being interesting. How do you become more interesting? You must be willing to show parts of yourself that you wouldn't normally show. This is what's gonna make conversation interesting. The guy that's in conversation and he's more willing to show parts about himself that other guys wouldn't. When he's in front of a woman and he's speaking about something, he's more willing to show his expressions about it than another guy will. He's more willing to speak like this and act like this and, and be a little bit like this and act a little bit like this when he's in front of a woman. The reason why the guy is interesting is because he has variation. That is what makes a man interesting. Is he willing to show more of himself than another man? A woman can be attracted to that. That's authenticity and interesting in a nutshell. That was a quick video for you. Make sure you subscribe. There's a free seduction course, Meet to Bedroom, in the description box for you to click. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that what you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it.